con el Señor. ¿A dónde? Mr. Tony. Hello, hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Yeah, ready. Ready with, with all the powers. <laughs> hey, yes. <laughs> <clears throat> es más, ya está fría. You got a haircut. I can see that. <laughs> ready to celebrate the first, I mean, the last day. Listo para celebrar el último día. Sí. And then you, you will have three days off the class. Va a tener tres días libres de clase en la semana. Porque se acaba. Queda Wednesday, Wednesday. Thursday and Friday. Friday. Mm -hmm. And Sunday, man. And Sunday and Saturday, right? <laughs> <laughs> y a ver cuándo. No, si el lunes iniciamos ya nuevamente, ¿verdad? No han dicho nada, pero yo creo que sí. No sé si van a dar la otra semana. Tentativo, tentativo lo habían dejado. Quiero ver. Sí, tentativo no. estaba el 17. ¿Les han mandado fecha a ustedes? Sí, por correo. Por correo. 17 es el próximo lunes, vea. Uh -huh. Bye. Ustedes, uh -huh. se dan, ustedes se dan cuenta primero. <risa> Así que uno... <risa> que está algo lenta la cámara no la mía ah ok ok hello miss portillo hello teacher good evening good evening miss array hello hello good evening good evening last eight of classes huh Finish. You're like, yeah. So, right. Ahora Susan. cero. Yeah, D-Day. Right? Susan, recuérdeme pasar el listado ahí de, de, de las okay. personas. Ok. No, no ya me los anotó eso. usted. Sí, sí, no se nos vaya a olvidar ahí. Que... Creo que el teacher lleva como sus dos o tres consultitas ahí. Ah, cabal, va. Lleve bien el dato ahí. ¿eh? Sí, no, ahí. Sí. <laughs> Miss Carmen, hello. No, I would say Mrs. Oriana, the correct way to say it. <laughs> good evening, teacher, everyone. Good evening. Yeah, good evening. Mr. Rodriguez, Frank. All right, so let's begin this. Good, night. good evening, sir. Okay, so let's begin with this, if you don't mind. All right. Uh. Como el último día estamos todos a tiempo. ¿verdad? Sí, ¿verdad? como así con, con <risa> with the feeling. Sí, no voy a hacer otro día porque. <risa> But uh, as, as everything in life, my friends, there are good and bad days, right? Hay malos y buenos días. Ok. And that's part of life. So in this evening, we will start with uh, get or go. So basically we're going to cover the difference between these two verbs. Vamos a ver la diferencia entre estos dos verbos which are very very useful and important in English. All right? Tu verbos son cruciales, you know, these are essential verbs in English. Okay? Uh, so get and go have similar meanings. Tienen significados parecidos. When talking about travel or motion, cuando usted está hablando acerca de movimiento o de ir a un lugar o recibir algo. When we use get, we emphasize arrival. Cuando ocupamos este verbo, get, enfatizamos, ¿verdad?, el llegar a un lugar o recibir algo. Ese va a ser mi punto de partida, my starting point right now. Okay? And I will underline that verb right now. Get and go. Right? I have some examples over here. 
we'll phone you as soon as we get to Rome. En ese contexto, get es sinónimo de llegar, arribar, ¿verdad? Like you, everyone, get to class on time, all right? Como, como ustedes, ¿verdad? Llegan a clase siempre. <laughs> all right, yeah, okay, most of you, I would say, la mayoría de ustedes. But you have some reasons over there. Entonces, no decimos, we'll phone you as soon as we go to Rome. No, el significado es, te llamo tan pronto llegue a Roma. Okay. And uh, using this verb in past tense, ocupándolo en el verbo en su, en su modo pasado. I have this example for you. The thing is, he missed the bus and got to school late and missed part of the match. La cosa es, ¿verdad? Perdió el bus o el bus lo dejó y llegó a la escuela tarde. Entonces se perdió la mayoría del partido, right? You can say that you can say the opposite, right? So the thing is, you miss, I don't know, the bus or you were stuck in, in the traffic jam and you miss part of the class. En ustedes aplicaría, ¿verdad? Estuvieron atascados en el tráfico y llegaron a la casa tarde y se perdieron parte de la clase. If I, if I, if I, if I apply this to you, all right? This is just an introduction, by the way. This is just an introduction. I'm going to share with you uh, an access link so you can uh, check the many examples of get and go. De hecho, es parte de la agenda de, de Insafor que usted repase y estudie esta estructura, ¿verdad? Get and go. Este es el pan de cada día para que usted eh, mejore su vocabulario. Trust me, all right? Trust me. People say that... Me estoy enfermando. I'm getting sick. Ocupamos el get. Ya vamos a ver las formas en que lo ocupamos. Well, let me just one second. I'm looking for the right uh, for the right uh, link over there. All right. All right. Here we go. I'll be, uh, I'm going to be using the Spanish. Uh, let's see, Spanish translation and English uh, sentences over there to guide you through. Vamos a ocupar cuestiones de traducción y después vamos a ocupar eh, otro material para que sea solamente English and English vocabulary over there. But for us to get us started, that's, that's the one I'm sending to you right now. Les acaba de mandar un acceso. Open it up. All right. So I want you to have full control of, of the uh, material. And then we start with that. All right. Abramos el, el material que les mandé, por favor. And don't say the name, please, because I don't know if this is for free. Y no digamos el nombre, por favor. No sé si esto es gratis. Ahí está. There are some technical words that you don't really have to pay attention to. Un par de palabras técnicas, no hay que ponerles atención. Eh, I'm going to share the screen right now. All right. I'm about to share the screen with you right now. Hold on, please. Vamos a compartir pantalla. And uh, here we go. Just one second over here. All right, I think it's better. So welcome aboard everyone. This is the last class at English Corporativo, module three. And then as I said before, you're gonna have three days off. Now the intention of me sharing this with you is not to, uh, how can I say this? To overwhelm you, as significa no abrumarlos, or frustrate you, or frustrarlos. But at least to give you a basic understanding of these two very, very important words in English. Mi idea es, por lo menos, darles nociones básicas de cómo se utiliza go y get. No solamente decimos go, que I go to... May I go to the bathroom, le enseñan a uno, ¿verdad? En los primeros niveles. Teacher, may I go to the bathroom. <laughs> y uno en español, ¿verdad? En las escuelas le decían, dígalo en inglés. <laughs> yes, ya no iba al baño. <laughs> I remember that, right? In English, please, they say, right? <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> I see that. So, but right now, let's try to understand the basic or the most common difference between go and get. All right? 
don't pay attention to technical words. No, pongamos, no le pongamos atención a palabras así bien este, técnicas, ¿verdad? Que esto es un verbo intransitivo. ¿Qué significa? Significa que va a tener un, un, un sujeto siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces usted no puede decir, I go. ¿A dónde va a ir? I go. All right. I go to the supermarket. I go, I go home. All right. Etc. This means in Spanish, ir. All right. And get is a transitive verb, which is often translated as conseguir. All right. All right. Get sick. Dice la, okay. Se enfermó, pero no dice quién se enfermó. All right. But uh, so learn more about the difference between go and get below. Aprendamos más acerca de la diferencia entre go y get a continuación. Okay. If you have any questions, just stop me, please, and ask the questions in there. All right. We will be using two materials. Vamos a ocupar dos materiales. This one, which is English and Spanish, and the other one, which is English. And Vamos a ocupar dos versiones del material. Inglés español e inglés inglés. Ok. You don't have to memorize this, by the way. Ya lo dije como dos o tres veces, pero no necesitan uh, memorizar esto. Pero sí le digo, y lo digo en español, lo recalco. Guarde este material que le estoy dando, porque con esto usted va a poder formular oraciones de su propia autoría. Of your own creativity. De su propia creatividad. I'm going to start with this one. All right. With go. Let's see if I can go a little bit bigger over here. Yes, it's better. Um, ok. Go. From, from left to right. Comienzo de izquierda a derecha. Go. It means to move or travel. Es decir, significa ir, ¿verdad? De un lugar a otro. For example, we have, does this bus go to the city center? Este bus va al centro de la ciudad. Go to your room, all right? Go to your room. Te le dice a su hijo, go to your room, ¿verdad? All right? Go to your room. Okay, but this is simple. We know this room. Este ya lo sabemos, ¿verdad? Es a nombre, esto fácil, no, fácil dice usted. Get. It means to obtain or conseguir. For example, only a fraction of students can get a place at, at the university. Casualidad, ¿verdad? La Universidad de Salvador. <coughs> Solo una fracción de los estudiantes pueden obtener o conseguir un lugar, ¿verdad? En la universidad. Estoy haciendo la traducción yo, no me estoy guiando por esto, de hecho. ¿Verdad? Si usted dice, ¿dónde está leyendo? <laughs> All right. So, that's why. Uh, I go number two. All right. Go means, igual, ¿verdad? Irse, pero aquí usted lo está, o marcharse, o salir, ¿verdad? It means to leave. Entonces, que go es sinónimo de leave. Entonces, yo le digo, please, como la canción, ¿verdad? Please don't go. Ya, yeah, verdad, se va a poner romántico. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, uh, or you can say they decided it was time to go, verdad? Ellos decidieron que era tiempo de marcharse o era hora de marcharse o era momento de marcharse. This one, right? Letter B, this one. Or cuando va a salir el bus, verdad? Por ejemplo, what time does this train go? O usted puede decir, what time does the bus go? Go, all right? ¿A qué hora sale el tren? Aquí está una frase que usted la puede ocupar en el día a día. All right? So that's a great, a good phrase in there. Now let's go back over there and, and let's just start with get. Entonces miremos cuando get significa obtener, ¿verdad? Eh, one second over there. Let me stop sharing this, ¿verdad? Vamos a dejar de compartir. Le di un clic indebido. <laughs> All right, just one sec, come over here. Um, any questions so far? No questions for me? No? All right, so I, I guess we're good. So please be patient because uh, for the next 10 or 15 minutes, I'll be sharing this with you. Tengo un poquito de paciencia porque en los siguientes 15 minutos vamos a ver esta, esta cuestión, ¿verdad? Eh, mi consejo es, o mi sugerencia es, anote solamente lo, 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 los verbos perdón, los ejemplos o los usos de cada verbo, o por lo menos eso no te okay, en la número uno, la, la, o la dos, usted ve la B, o okay, que esto es nuevo para mí, usted lo anota, después lo puede revisar en sus notas. All right? So, get, when it means obtener, you can get more information on our webpage. Usted puede tener, obtener más información en nuestra página web. 
but this is, I mean, this isn't anything new, right? Esto no es nada nuevo. Pues esto ya lo sabían ustedes, de hecho. Pero también get significa comprar. Okay, so get means to purchase. Purchase es comprar o compra, all right? For example, don't forget to get milk when you go to the grocery store. Ok, y, y no es, perdón, y no es que literalmente el verbo signifique comprar, sino que usted obtiene por medio de una compra. All right. One more time over here. Don't forget to get milk when you go to the grocery store. Usted también puede preguntar. Don't forget to get uh, a, something that, you, that, I mean, the meat when you go to the grocery store. Obtener, ¿verdad? O comprar. All right. Ok. I'm going to go back to number three over here. Eh, otro uso de go significa progresar, ¿verdad? Igual que ir. I hope everything goes well for you in the new job. Cuando la persona le dice, bueno, espero que le vaya bien en su operación, all right, o en su nuevo trabajo, o en su uh, matrimonio, le van a decir, I hope everything goes well for you in the new job. Que le salga bien, pues. Ok. Que le resulte over here. All right. Si se fijan, los usos de go and get ya no son tan literales. All right? De irse, movilizarse, ¿verdad? Sino que ahora significa otra cosa. Now, get also means recibir. Ok. Number three and get. Ver la, la columna derecha. Lo voy, lo voy a uh, highlighting, ¿verdad? Sobresaliendo. ¿verdad? I didn't get any, any notification that my package arrived, ¿verdad? No recibí Ninguna notificación de que, recibí, que, que había llegado mi paquete. Entonces acá, get es sinónimo de receive. Receive es el verbo como formal y get es lo que ocupamos en el día a día. O sea, la gente no dice I didn't receive any notification that my package arrived. Sí lo dicen, ¿verdad? Pero si quieren ser bien formales en contexto de verdad de trabajo. Pero algo que, que usted se lo dice, ok, I didn't get any notification that my package arrived. No, también lo puede decir, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de las dos opciones usted lo puede decir. Ok. So, either one, right? Next one. Este, aquí pongámosle atención, ¿verdad? El uso número cuatro, ¿verdad? Para abajo dice que no es una traducción literal. All right. Carla went white with fear. Cuando alguien se pone, ¿verdad? O toma una actitud, ¿ok? O un estado de ánimo, usted puede ocupar el verbo go. Igual que get, ya lo vamos a ver. Carla went white with fear. Este porque es en pasado, ¿verdad? Carla se puso blanca de miedo. All right. Entonces, esta es muy buena expresión. Cuando usted quiere decir, ¿verdad? Y me puse pálido, right? And I went white. All right. The fans went crazy when the band came on stage. Los fans se enloquecieron, se volvieron locos. So, por eso que está la expresión, don't go crazy. Ok. No se vuelvan locos. All right. Ok. Number four, fetch. Significa traer, ¿verdad? Fetch, ese verbo, ¿verdad? Entonces, en lugar de ocupar fetch, que se le va a olvidar, mejor ocupe get. Get me a glass of water, please. All right? Esa, eso usted lo ocupa en su trabajo. Tráeme tal cosa, pasame tal cosa, ¿verdad? O you can say, get me a doctor, ¿verdad? Consígame un doctor. Ok. O get me a, a, a glass of water, que esto es muy común, ¿verdad? Uh, bueno, vamos a detenernos por acá en estos usos porque les quiero compartir la cuestión un poquito más simple. Se los dejo para que ustedes lo revisen después porque si seguimos, si se fija, aquí vamos a amanecer, ¿verdad? Y vamos a, tirar, vamos a llegar hasta el lunes próximo, ¿verdad? En esto. You see that one? Can you see that one, my friends? <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is endless. All right? This is, you see? You see? Ya me aburrí ya de bajar la mano aquí. <laughs> right, the mouse over there. All right. But this is like the complete version of get versus go. Esa es como la, la, la versión de enciclopedia, ¿verdad? The get versus go. All right. So that's a version over there. I'm going to share with you something else. Yes, Miss Ulma. You want to okay. say something? Yes. Y ese documento lo va a enviar al grupo. Ya está en, en el chat de WhatsApp. Ah, bye. Sí. Bye, sorry. Gracias. Bueno,
I'm going to share with you the second one, right? Esta es la versión, ¿verdad? Como dicen unos compañeros en el colegio, un señor dice que es la versión Paquín. <laughs> You're going to tell me why, right? <laughs> You're going to tell me why, right? Why is that? And let me just one second come over here. The second uh, material, no le digo, ¿verdad? Eh, en, enlace en inglés porque los de YouTube bien saben. All right, so take a look at this. Um, I'm going to share with you the second one more. And the name of that uh, uh, article is 50 most common expressions we get. Las cinco expresiones más, eh, las cinco expresiones, perdón, las 50 expresiones más comunes de get. All right. Entonces, let me share with you the screen over here. Me voy a enfocar en el verbo get. Porque yo creo que es mejor aprender si una cosa, un verbo primero que el siguiente, ¿verdad? Y que le va a ayudar más. All right? It's going to help you more. Okay? Let me just one second. Let me share the screen over here. Vamos a compartir pantalla. And uh, here we go. All right? I think we have a good... Uh... Yes. Even, even over here, you have the index. The index is telling you. So go to uh, the table of content. But that tenemos un indice. When to use the verb get. There's a video expressions we get, meanings of the word get. And then you, you see over there. Get plus adjectives, uh, uh, collocations, prepositions, y todo eso, verdad? Que de repente nos abruma. But basically, you have to learn the four main uses of get. Por lo menos... Pongámosle atención. So let's pay attention to the four basic uses of get. Por lo menos los cuatro usos más comunes de get. All right? To receive something, right? Obtener o recibir. To obtain or buy something, ¿verdad? Obtener o comprar algo. To travel somewhere in a bus, train, or another vehicle. ¿Verdad? Viajar a algún lugar en tren, en bus, en autobús o en cualquier otro vehículo. To arise someone. El uso número cuatro y el uso uno y el dos son los más comunes. El tres, no mucho. All right? Pero sí lo vemos, ¿verdad? Como que yo le digo, uh, what time did you get home? ¿A qué hora usted llega a su casa? All right? So these are some examples of sentences using the word get. No se preocupen, ¿verdad? Ya les tengo ahí el ejercicio, ¿verdad? Para que practiquemos la diferencia entre get y go. All right, aquí no solamente se trata de teoría. All right, it's not only about theory. So, these are some examples of sentences using the word get, ¿verdad? Estos son unos ejemplos de oraciones, ¿verdad? Utilizando get. Did you get anything nice for your birthday? Recibieron algo, no sé, bueno o bonito para su cumpleaños. All right. Where did you get your shoes, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde compraste tus zapatos? Y se fijan, get en ese, en ese sentido es comprar. Where did you get your shoes? Porque no está diciendo dónde los... Puede también ser dónde los conseguiste, pero usted los compra, ¿verdad? All right. Al menos que sea suertudo y se los regalen, ¿verdad? <laughs> All right, no, all right, never, right, never. Okay. So what time did you get home from work? ¿A qué hora llega usted a su casa? Ya lo tienen bien medido, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, it happens, right? It happens. So you see those examples over there? In the first one, get means recibir, ¿verdad? Recibió algo bonito para su cumpleaños. ¿Dónde compraste los zapatos? ¿A qué hora llega usted a su casa? All right. Y estas, estas oraciones usted las puede aplicar a cualquier contexto, right? You can apply this to any context over there. So remember that we can make sentences we get with different tenses in English. Usted puede hacer cualquier tipo de oraciones in, con get in, in, in past, in present, in future, right? Esto es el día a día, ¿verdad? El inglés. And here we have the examples. And I'm going to show you why. So these are some of the uses of get. All right. Eh, aquí sí necesito su ayuda, ¿verdad? Para que no sea un monólogo. Can somebody help me, please? Read. Um, let's see what we have on this, on this chart. Can somebody help me, please? Let's see. I'm going to see your, your cameras over there. All right, thank you, Elizabeth. Appreciate it. You want to help me or not? Okay, all right. You use get with adjective to mend the tone. 
to get his unique expression referring to each question. Mm -hmm. You get someone to do something. If we if you get something done, okay. When you get to a place, you arrive there. You arrive there, okay. Let me read the examples for you. Voy a leerle los ejemplos que están a la derecha. ¿Cómo dice usted que le da hambre o le da sueño? Usted le pone get y luego pone el adjetivo. ¿Verdad? ¿Cómo dice usted soñoliento? Get sleepy. ¿Verdad? Sleepy. All right. ¿Cómo dice usted eh, hambriento? La palabra. How do you say that? Hambriento. All right. How do you say hungry. it? You, you say hungry, right? Yeah, the, so, entonces que le dé hambre es get hungry, all right? Tener hambre. How do you say enojarse? Porque en, enojado solamente es angry y enojarse es get angry, right? Okay, how do you say, verdad, cansarse? You say get, how do you say cansarse o cansado? Como, como llanta, ¿verdad? Tired. All right? Tired, correct. So, how do you say, the, eh, no sé, eh, estar contento, ponerse contento, ¿verdad? Was, I get high. Get, get happy, you may say, right? <laughs> get high in something else, right? <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. So, you see there, if you use get with uh, some uh, adjectives, cuando usted ocupa gets y luego le, le pone acá un adjetivo, usted ya está cambiando, ¿verdad? El significado, ¿verdad? Enojarse, animarse, cansarse, eh, tener sue que le dé sueño, tener hambre, todas esas, esas expresiones. O sea, ahorita usted dice eh, angry, lazy, hungry, sleepy, eh, tired, eh, cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? Esos adjetivos, pero ya si le pone gets, ya es una acción. ¿All right? Es una acción. And that's the difference over there. You're going to see it there. It's where, sorry, teacher. Yes. It's an action to, to be, become. To become, correct. Yes. Correct. correct. Okay. Yes. That's the state you, that you get over there, right? A different state. Uh -huh. Correct. Correct. Exactly. That's why you said, um, si usted se casa, okay? ¿Verdad? Usted se convierte en señor o señora, right? De. Entonces es get married, ¿verdad? Casarse, right? Eh, enojarse, get mad, ¿verdad? M M -A -D, right? Um, si usted, digamos, queda en el tráfico, get stuck in the traffic, ¿verdad? Get stuck in the traffic, right? Si usted se confunde, ¿verdad? Confused es la cuestión, ¿verdad? Con ED, usted va a decir get confused. Usted va a decir, I, I got confused en pasado. Got confused, ¿verdad? Me confundí. And that's the meaning of it, ¿verdad? Convertirse. O, o, okay. Now, the other one is expressions referring to situation. Get in trouble. All right. ¿Verdad? Eh, meterse en problemas. You know, get in trouble. Okay. The, or get stuck over there. Expresiones así específicas, ¿verdad? You get someone to do something. Pero cuando usted le dice a alguien, ah, pedile, ¿verdad? Conseguí que, que alguien haga tal cosa, ¿verdad? Get your, get your, por ejemplo, que usted logre, no sé, que su hijo, eh, no sé, lave su plato, ¿verdad? Get him to wash uh, his dish, right? O sea, consiga que haga algo. If you get something done, ¿verdad? Si usted logra hacer algo. I got this done quickly. Pero estas son otras expresiones, ¿verdad? Que involucran otros tiempos gramaticales. Solamente la cuestión es que usted dice, I got things done, ¿verdad? Yo tengo, la, yo hago las cosas, yo hago que las cosas sucedan. All right. I got things done. I got homework done. I got the platform done. Puede decir usted, ¿verdad? I got uh, uh, module three done, ¿verdad? Entonces usted ya pasó el módulo tres. I got module three done. All right. Ya hizo la, la compra del super. I got the groceries done. Entonces al principio usted solo va a modificar el, lo que está en medio, ¿verdad? Things. Y cuando usted ha logrado algo, ha completado alguna 
I got the report done, ¿verdad? Usted ya hizo el reporte. I got the report done. I got the email done, all right? Si usted ya hizo la, la, la cena, I got the dinner done. And then you, you use your creativity, all right? Si se fijan, ¿verdad? Usted solamente sustituye alguna palabra y ocupa el get para muchas cosas, all right? That's what I'm trying to show you over here, ¿verdad? Lo que les trato de mostrar. Eh, and the last one is llegar a un lugar, ¿verdad? Arribar. I get to work at eight. I get to teach at eight, ¿verdad? Yo, o sea, tengo la oportunidad de dar clases a esa hora. All right. Yo llego al trabajo. I get to, uh, to home. I get home, ¿verdad? Ahí le podemos quitar eso, ¿verdad? Porque es hogar, no es casa. All right. Um, any questions so far, by the way? Do you have any questions for me so far? It's 828, all right? It's 828. Hold on. All right, so let's continue over here. Aquí estamos, tenemos unos ejemplos. List of the most common expressions we get. These are the most common expressions we get categorized by how these expressions are made up. Aquí están categorizadas, ¿verdad? Como cómo se hacen estas oraciones. Es decir, que se las hace con un adjetivo, con una expresión. Collocation significa que dos, dos, dos palabras siempre van a ir juntas. All right? Como uña y mugre, right? Okay. Como Batman y Robin. <laughs> and some other ones over there, right? So, eh, phrasal verbs with get, ¿verdad? Y, y, y verbos que son de, de eh, get y una preposición, ¿verdad? Eso es bien común. Como cuando le dice get up, right? So, let's just start with the, the 25 most useful get adjective expressions. Ah, la gente en la fiesta, ¿verdad? Para fin de año. So, get drunk. O cada 15, mucha gente. <laughs> All right, get drunk. He got drunk last night, ¿verdad? Get, right? Get hotter, like today, right? Estuvo bien caliente, ¿verdad? Se volvió más caliente, you know, get hotter. It's getting hotter. Cuando de repente usted está en el trabajo y le dice, ya se está haciendo tarde, usted va a decir, it's getting late. Se está haciendo tarde, All right? It's getting late. Cuando está en el one-on-one one -on -one con el profesor, con el teacher, y el profesor le dice, oh, it's getting late. Bye, ¿verdad? All right, get warmer, it's getting warmer. The get married, lo que les decía, ¿verdad? Casarse, she's, get, she's going to get married, ¿verdad? Become, se va a convertir, ¿verdad? En casada. She's going to get married. Get divorced, ah, the opposite. They got divorced last year, se divorciaron el, el año pasado. Uh, get tired, all right? Y ahorita usted puede decir, I got lost, all right? Le pone acá la O y es en pasado. Dice, ya me perdió, teacher. All right? I got lost. En la explicación. Ok. Got lost. Get better. Pero yo les puedo decir, ¿verdad? I can tell you the opposite. You, my friends, are, are getting better. ¿Verdad? Ustedes están mejorando. All right? In English, you are, you are, you know, getting better. Mejorar. Get better. Get angry, right? She's gonna get angry, ¿verdad? Se va a enojar. Get old. Ah, estamos envejeciendo, ¿verdad? O haciéndonos mayores. You know, get old. Get dark, ¿verdad? Se está oscureciendo. Get dirty, se está ensuciando. Uh, get wet, ¿verdad? It's raining. We are going to get wet. Nos vamos a mojar. Get wet, right? Because it's raining. Entonces, si usted se fija, todas esas expresiones, se va a enfermar. Get sick. Get hurt, se va a lastimar. ¿Verdad? Ah, le va a dar uh, sed, ¿verdad? I'm getting thirsty, me está dando sed. Get hungry, ¿verdad? Me está dando hambre, right? Usted, ah, ya tengo hambre, dice, I'm getting hungry, right? Y ahí están las dos expresiones. You have get, get well soon. Y en la expresión, cuando alguien está enfermo, usted dice, get well soon, mejorese. Vestirse, ¿cómo va a decir usted vestirse? Get dress, all right? Get dress. Eh, cuando usted se pone celoso, get jealous. Engordarse, que no nos gusta, get fat, all right? Get bored, uh, aburrirse, ¿verdad? Emocionarse, get excited. Ah, cuando usted dice, ah, yo me pongo nervioso, decimos, ¿verdad? That's a good expression, right? Get nervous, ¿ok? Y aquí, ¿verdad? Uh, hay un montón que usted puede, puede ocupar por ahí. But we're going to stop over here because I don't want to bore you with my explanation. It's better to practice, all right? So we're going to practice this because my point is to understand the difference between go and get go is like to go places and get is to arrive or to receive or to buy and some other expressions over there but i would say the most important verb is get después del verbo to be el verbo get 
para mí es el más importante en el inglés. All right? For me. All right? And I guess for you, too. Okay? And uh, if there are no questions, I'm going to share with you the exercise to this. Okay? I'm going to share with you the exercise to this. It's in total. Let's see how many questions. Ten questions over here. All right? Hold on. There you go. I just shared with you the uh, short multiple choice quiz to this uh, grammar, all right? Get versus go, all right? Get versus go. I'm going to share the screen with you right now. Vamos a compartir la pantalla. But I'm, I'm going to ask you as a big favor, uh, start working on this. Hold on. Let me share the screen over here. Uh, ahí está. Ya seguro compartir pantalla. Just one second over here. Ahí está. Eh, can I have a volunteer, please? Somebody else that can help me read this. All right. Or maybe two volunteers. Dos voluntarios from one to five and from six to ten. All right. Alguna voz femenina o masculina que nos ayude a guiar el, el quiz que vamos a hacer de forma individual. Please. No es que usted lo va a hacer, ¿verdad? Y me va a decir la respuesta, sino que solamente en lugar de que yo lo hable, usted va a practicar. All right. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. I see you over there. And Miss Sonia, thank you. So, Miss Evelyn, start with one, two, three, four, five, and then the Miss Sonia, you finish over there. Okay. Number one, please, uh, Miss Evelyn. I guess your microphone is off. I, yes. Creo que tiene apagado su micrófono. I go to work by, by car and Susie goes by train. Okay. So it says, it's this one, right? All right. Yeah, it's correct. You got it. Now the next one, whether number two. Let's see who uh, will, will get there first. Correct. Yes, it's correct. Okay. All right, number three. <laughs> um, to see him yesterday. I went to see him yesterday. I went to see him yesterday. All right. This one, it's tricky, to be honest with you, right? Porque es como si usted puede, si usted dice, ¿verdad? Lo pude haber, o sea, pude verlo ayer o mirarlo, me, o, o me pude ver con él. Puede ser got or whatever, which is correct. Okay. Pero si usted fue a un lugar y se trasladó, va a decir went. Así que acá, esta, esta es una uh, pregunta ambigua, podría decirse. Ambiguous over there. So either one would be okay. But just because we're learning and this is an exercise, y es un, es un quiz, hay que elegir una respuesta. But in real life, more than uh, one option would be okay. En la vida real, las dos podrían ser. Entonces, you said it's one, right? All right. There you go. Okay. Okay. Let's continue. Four. I thought the train was late. I man, man, ¿Cómo sería ahí, teacher? Manage, manager? manage, manage. Manage. I managed to go to the meeting in time or to get. Mm -hmm. Go or get. What do you think? Llegar. Um, uh -huh. Get. Correct. Correct. It's get. Manage means arreglárselas. Arreglárselas, ¿verdad? Entonces, buscar los medios de. That's why we have managers. In the United States, if you go to a board, but if you go to a hospital to a, or to a supermarket, there are managers, ¿verdad? Están los, los, las personas, ¿verdad? Supervisores, son los managers, así le llaman. Arregla, porque ellos buscan soluciones. They look for solutions, right? So, get over there. Eh, five, it wasn't easy. Uh, it's quite easy to get through the crowd. To get through the crowd, correct. Pasar en medio de, ¿verdad? arreglárselas, pasar, get to the crowd. Estas son expresiones, ¿verdad? Eh, que te decíamos, get to, get through the crowd, pasar en medio, get through. 
All right. Thank you, Miss Evelyn. So, uh, Miss Sonia, number okay. six, please. Could you tell me how to get or go to the post office? Yes, and in uh, this case is get. Yes, and that's an expression over there. Yes, could you tell me how to get to the post office? Could you tell me how to get to the um, um, I don't know to the mall, right, or to the supermarket? Get to mm -hmm. right. Yes. Okay, seven. We have better get go going mm -hmm. is late. Yes. Um, yeah. Get okay. going, correct. Yes, get, that's an expression. Hey, let's mm -hmm. get going, verdad? Andemos, mm -hmm. verdad? Okay, thank you. Eight. Okay. It. Um, late. It's como que está llegando tarde. It. Tengo dudas si es going or, or getting. Y si le digo que se está volviendo tarde, que se está poniendo tarde, o ya está atardeciendo. Ah, getting. Exactly, exactly. Uh -huh. It's getting late, correct. Uh -huh. getting late. Number nine. When do I get to see your new baby? Exactly. Cuando voy a tener la oportunidad, verdad? Uh -huh. Okay. Get to, uh -huh. right? Oh okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Obtener. Okay. Uh -huh. Then the last uh -huh. one. I could. Couldn't. I couldn't. Uh -huh. The car, the star. I get. Yes, I couldn't get the card to card store. To store. Correct. Just a few hands to say, uh, thank you so much. So as you can see here, okay. as you can see here, so these are very common expressions we get. And of course, you had the answers down below. Verdad, aquí estaban las respuestas, verdad, por si usted las, las ya las había visto. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm not saying you, Miss Sonia. I'm saying everyone over here. As you can see, uh, the best way to, to understand this is to use it. So the best way you can you do this is go to the 50 uh, most common collocations we get. Collocations is una palabra que siempre van juntas, ¿verdad? Entonces, ese material que les comparto vale oro, all right? El segundo, ¿verdad? Porque el primero tenía quizás una lista así como cuando le vendían a nosotros, ¿verdad? Las cuestiones de océano. Okay, que era un gran montón, ¿verdad? <laughs> yeah, I also, my mom bought a couple of them. Mi mamá también compró un par de esos. <laughs> All right, yes. Okay, so that's the one I'm talking about. All right. Este, ¿verdad? El que dice most common collocations we get. It's the second uh, link that I shared with you. Es el segundo material que les compartí. All right. I'm going to erase this, by the way. Eh, and that's the one, ¿verdad? Get permission. Ah, que le den permiso en el trabajo. Usted dice, I'm going to get permission, right? Ahí está la, la frase, ¿verdad? Entonces, aquí la vamos a poner. All right. Get a call, ¿verdad? Mañana va a recibir una llamada, va a get a call from the government. Get a letter, recibir una carta. Get a degree, which is important, right? Or get a diploma, ¿verdad? Que usted obtenga un diploma. Get a diploma over there. You see, these phrases are beautiful. Get home, llegar a casa, ¿verdad? Sorry, but I need to get home right away. Ah, cortarse el pelo, dice usted, ¿verdad? Mr. Tony told me already. So, mire, me corté el pelo. So, he got a haircut, all right? All right, and then you have the expressions over there. When you go to uh, El Sonte, El Mahawal, El Tunco, those places over there, all right? Eh, Costa del Sol, you say, get, get a tan, ¿verdad? Bronciarse, get a tan, or get tan, all right? And then you have the prepositions over there. You have prepositions over there. And um, hold on. Y aquí están otros verbos, ¿verdad? Pero esto usted solo puede aprender ya con el tiempo, all right? Y aquí tenemos una, una pregunta. How often do you get a haircut? What time do you usually get home? Do you get a time when you get to the beach? Have you ever gotten drunk? Do you ever get sick? Vaya, entonces vamos a hacer una última práctica de esto, ¿verdad? Entonces, le voy a decir las que no tiene que practicar, pero son una estructura nueva que usted no tiene que manejar, ¿verdad? Esto vamos a practicar en un breaker room, ¿all right? You're going to practice this in a breaker room. So the one that you're not supposed to practice is... Mm, Solamente la número cinco no practique, por favor. Then anything else. Over. Do you ever get sick? Aquí le pregunta, ¿alguna vez se enferma? <laughs> and you can say yes. Yes, of course, right? When I eat too much. O sea, cuando me como pupusas de arroz, you can say, right? Uh, or the, when I eat uh, something spicy, right? <laughs> yeah, that might happen, right? Puede suceder. Entonces, de estas expresiones, 
para amarrar lo que estamos ahorita viendo, vamos a practicar. A ver, entonces tenemos, how often do you get a haircut? ¿Cada cuánto se corta el pelo? What time do you usually get home? ¿A qué hora llega usted regularmente a su casa? Do you get a tan when you go to the beach? Se broncea cuando va a la playa. Do you get jealous sometimes? ¿Verdad? No sé si le dan celos por ahí, ¿verdad? Algunas veces. <laughs> All right. Yes, I think you have to say yes. En saltémonos la número 5, right? Skip it. Do you ever get sick? ¿Se enferma usted alguna vez? All right. Are you thinking about getting married? Ah, esta pregunta. ¿Está pensando en casarse? Or maybe getting divorced? Who knows, right? O divorciarse. Who knows, right? <laughs> okay. Is it me, my Lord, right? Seré yo, señor. <laughs> All right. So, and the last one. What do you want to get better at? Esta pregunta es muy importante. Very, very important. En personal, ¿verdad? ¿Qué quisiera usted mejorar de su vida? What do you want to get better at? Maybe English, pronunciation, your life, your job. Okay, your attitude, nuestra actitud, our patience, nuestra paciencia, right? Our health, okay? Our habits, maybe, right? So we'll see over here. And then we have questions with get, step two. Vamos a revisar si estas podemos nosotros eh, practicarlas. Oh, okay, this one. El segundo set de preguntas. What hobbies do you recommend if you get bored at home? ¿verdad? ¿Qué pasatiempos usted recomienda si, no sé, está aburrido en la casa? Como diría nuestras mamás, póngase a hacer algo. <laughs> get to do something, right? Okay, get to do something. <laughs> Clean up or do something. So number two, estoy revisando el segundo set de preguntas. What do you like to drink when you get thirsty? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué le gusta tomar cuando tiene sed? <laughs> That's a good question, by the way, right? So you, maybe you drink soda, water with ice, beer. No podemos decir la marca, ¿verdad? Yo no puedo, ustedes sí. <laughs> All right, pero ya le leí los labios, mi Susana Hernández. <laughs> <laughs> nice you may say beer that's okay okay but no brands uh number three uh, do you ever get nervous whenever you have to speak in public no sé le dan nervios cuando usted tiene que hablar en público you have to say yes and you have to say why but okay on qué ocasión no solamente vamos a decir sí o no y ahí no vamos a callar no all right si usted ha tenido la oportunidad de volar verdad y via viajar no sé Do you get dizzy when you are on a, on a plane or, or a boat? No sé, le da mareos si usted está en un avión o un bote o una lancha. Have you ever gotten lost? ¿Alguna vez se ha perdido? Pero no de la vida, sino que... <laughs> All right. That's a different story. Yeah, I know, Mr. Tony. <laughs> Pero después bajó y lo encontró. <laughs> okay, so... In downtown, maybe in the center, muchos no conocemos el centro de San Salvador, verdad? You get you get lost over there. It happens. It happens, right? So, um, sí, esta la podríamos practicar, okay? Aunque no necesariamente contestar con con esta estructura. Would you like to get married? Mm -hmm. Le gustaría casarse? <laughs> or get or get divorced? <laughs> Le gustaría divorciarse? <laughs> All right, okay. So, how well do you get along with your brothers? Esta pregunta significa get along, significa llevarse bien. Get along, ¿verdad? Get along. Se lleva bien con sus hermanos. All right? What time do you usually get up on Sundays, ¿verdad? ¿A qué hora se levanta el día domingo? But, we're going to practice, uh, let's see, uh, with a breaker room. The first set of questions. Practicamos en el, el, el primer uh, grupo reducido, solamente el primer set de preguntas. Then I will, I will get you back and we'll ask you the questions. Luego los traigo de regreso y le voy a hacer preguntas así a algunos de ustedes, de las que están ahí en el primer set. And then I will send you back again. Y los más voy a mandar de regreso una vez más. Okay? Nice. Thank you. So just one second over here. So remember that uh, in the first, uh, en esta, bueno, si usted quiere practicar esta número 5, ¿verdad? Usted es libre de, de decir sí o no, ¿verdad? Porque la 5 significa, ¿alguna vez se ha emborrachado? All right, that's the question mode, all right? So, I mean, that's okay, you can say yes or not, right? You can tell the story over there. No es por tanto por el hecho de emborracharse, sino que por la estructura, que esta es una estructura que no la hemos visto, que significa 
el presente, el presente perfecto, ¿verdad? Alguna vez usted se ha emborrachado, ¿verdad? Esa es la estructura order. Como la que teníamos acá que decía, alguna vez se ha perdido. All right. So, no questions right now for me. All right. Okay, so I'm making the groups, the groups right now. So just one sec. Uh, one moment, please. All right, so uh, right now let's try to review the words over there. Voy a seguir compartiendo pantalla solamente para que usted siga repasando un poquito las preguntas que tenemos por ahí. Ok. One second over there. There you go. All right, so join the rooms, please. Dice, ¿me regresé o me regreso? Eh, sí, como que se... Pero lo vamos, lo vamos a pasar. Uh, es que me aparecía dos veces, fíjese, no sé por qué. Pero es error del sistema, quizás. Ah, sí, sí, parece una vez inglesa. Ajá, ajá, vaya, ahorita vamos a... Lo paso a una sala eh, y luego lo mando de regreso, ¿verdad? Entonces, usted ya... Vamos a ver aquí okay. sala 2. Vaya, ahorita. Vamos a pasar aquí, gente. Uno, dos, tres. All right. All right, there we go. Va, ok. Entonces no es de las 50 expresiones sino del otro. Abajo están. El de Spanish Tick, no, vea, no, no, Spanish no. Hello, hello. no, el último entonces. Yes, it is the 50 most common expressions in English. Son de esas que usted estaba diciendo. Ah, de las más comunes expresiones, entonces sí. Sí, le voy a mandar captura de pantalla para que Sí, solo son ocho preguntas nada más. It's only questions, correct. Let me share them with you right now. The receipt to thank you, Trevor, to a read. I stop. Check, check the WhatsApp, please. It's on the WhatsApp over there. Check okay. it out, please. All right. Okay, just a... All right. Okay. Ahí solamente eh, le, le, le pediría que, ajá, que borre la, la dirección. Gracias. Thank you. Okay. Sure. Día. <laughs> Perdón. There you have it. It's in there. We can see it. Ahí está. So how Bye. often do you, do you get a haircut? So that's the first one. Okay. okay. La descargas, creo que se va a ver mejor. Es que no sé qué me, me está abriendo raro esta cosa, vos, pero no sé qué es. Hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Creo que si la descargas, si la vamos a ver bien. Espérame, que no sé qué. Aunque hello. sí se ve bien. Yo, yeah, yo we can see bien. it. We can see it, Mr. Cesar. We can see it. Ah. Sí, sí, alcanzo a ver bien. No sé, no sé si Miss Claudia. Sí. Y Miss Claudia. Ah, ok. Uh -huh. Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Sí, yeah, it's, 
Entonces, este, empezamos. La primera es, how often do you get up haircuts? Es como quitarse el cabello. Hair cuts. Cada, cada cuánto si usted se corta el pelo, vaya que le corten el pelo. Get a haircut. haircut. Ok. Eh, cada, oh, ¿cómo sería, teacher? Uh, every. Ah, ok. I already, every. Sería, every month. Quitar, ¿Cómo digo? No sé. Every month. I hire every coach. Every two months. Ajá, every hey. month, right. I get a haircut. I get a haircut. Cada every, dos meses. Every two months. Every two months. Two months. Ok. Teacher, ¿me lo puede repetir? Uh, I get a haircut every two months. Si lo voy a mandar aquí. Aquí, vamos a ver si me cae. Aquí está. Vamos a hacerlo bien personalizado aquí, Claudia. <laughs> <laughs> y, si, y, si, y si no es muy seguido, sería not very often not very often correct not very often okay. not very often not very often, not very often. Okay. Pero en eso no se podrían dar como respuestas como más específicas yeah like for example por ejemplo tiene algo en mente uh, um, re, no es que no esté seguro re, 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 remove remove sería una palabra adecuada remover o quitar y qué quiere decir con, con remover como quitarme el pelo no ahí sí, sería entiendo el, el, el la parte que usted decía, el get a, ah, okay. get a haircut. Ajá. Ajá. Ajá, pero yo, por ejemplo, me lo quito cada 20 días, por ejemplo. No, es que la expresión es eh, hacerse un corte de cabello, es eso, es get a haircut. Esa es la expresión. Uh -huh. o sea, ah, en I, inglés, get a hair, I get a haircut haircut, uh, every, every 20 days. Eh, 20 days. Every oh, 20 days, yes, you can say that. You can say okay. that. Or you can also say like every three weeks, ¿verdad? Como casi como más o menos cada tres semanas, ¿verdad? Entonces. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Ajá. Yeah, you got the message, Miss, Miss uh, Claudia. Ahí le mandé. I get a, yeah, aquí, en, ahí está. I get a haircut every two months over here. Uh -huh. nice. De hecho, y esto aplica for, for men and women, all right? Se van que le quiten las, las puntas. Same thing. Yeah, cuatro meses, cada cinco meses. Every four months, correct. Yo creo que una una vez al mes. Una Algo vez así. al año. No, pero es como que se quitan las puntitas. Ajá, exacto. Sí. No hello, hello. Aquí estamos, teacher. <risa> Están en la lucha. Le de eso. Lo que pasa es que nos oye bien calladito, es ¿eh? la concentración. Ahí sí da, ahí sí da. Yo dije, todavía bueno, no, no, ha roto, no ha roto el hielo. Dije. Es más, ahorita, ahorita se me cambia la gorra. No, <risa> <risa> Hoy sí. Hoy sí, ya. Otro, otro level, teacher, otro level. Hoy sí, verdad. Le está copiando ahí, verdad. <risa> Al Prezi. <risa> Me extraña entonces <risa> Más caro está el diario Dicen Pero pues sí, hay, Si el no pobre pare... siempre es el afectado Exactamente Exactamente, el final, pero qué bueno que yo no compro y ni, ni compraba Ni yo tampoco <risa> sí. Así que es cierto Pero bueno So how often did you get a haircut Mr. Tony Ya que Usted dio la idea. <laughs> me perdí. Perdón, number one. How often do you get a haircut? Oh. Haircut. Haircut, yes. A haircut. Ha ha hair, hair, haircut. Mm -hmm. Haircut. Haircut. Vamos a ver, dice. Eh, es cuando me corté el. Cada cuánto usted se. Ah, cada cuánto. De, de cabello. Uh. Maybe you can so guess. For example, for uh -huh. example, um, two month. Uh, I get, I get. Mm -hmm. I get two month. 
You can say, uh, no, podemos, no necesariamente tiene que ocupar la misma, repetir, decir, I get a haircut, sino que solo diga okay. el tiempo, ¿verdad? Every two months, cada, every two months. Every, every two months. Or you can say around uh, two months. You puede ser alrededor de dos yeah, meses. Approximately, yes. Or I think, para decirle, creo, pienso, no estoy I think every two months. Así. I think. I think, pienso, creo, every two months. Um, Así. Lo importante es entender lo que nos están preguntando, que en este caso es, how often do you get a haircut? Y en inglés la gente no repite lo mismo, o sea, no le va a decir, yeah. I get a haircut, uh, no, va a decir de un solo, every, or every two months, or I think every two months, o lo, lo, le van a decir, I'm not sure. <laughs> no, no estoy seguro. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> That's the point, no matter. Okay. I'll be, I'll, you know, I'll be back, ya regreso por acá. <laughs> okay. Nice. And then, and, then, and then get to practice. But vamos, yo creo que están escribiéndolo para practicar después, ¿verdad? Sí. De todo, Tisha. Yes, that, that's okay. Pero primero vamos con el primer set de preguntas. No, no vamos a hacer el segundo. Ahorita. Ok. Ya mandó el segundo. Sí, sí, sí. No, no, no le he mandado todavía. Ah, Por sí. eso. Yes. <risa> <risa> Conozco a mi pueblo. Relaja, tranquilo. <risa> tranquis, tranquis. <risa> yes. Really. 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 Readily. Okay, what's the one? Number six. Number seven. Or oh, now number seven. <laughs> number You're five. thinking about getting married? Yeah, I am, no. actually. Yeah. No. no, thank you. <laughs> no, <laughs> no thanks, I pass, right? No, like, thanks, no I pass. thanks, I pass. Yeah, no, no thanks, I'm yeah, fine. Yeah, like, yeah, next no, one, fine. next one. Next, next, next uh, number next. eight, okay, number eight. eight. <laughs> In another <laughs> life. Number eight. Se dice sin vergüenza en inglés. I don't know. Uh, I don't know. Shameless. No, shameless. Shameless, yeah. maybe. Shameless, shameless or... maybe. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Ya no dijeron shameless ahí. Eduardo. Shameless. Hijo. Es la realidad. Pues sí. Yeah, what can we do, right? Okay. Está bien. Uh -huh. Eight. In the last do you want to get better at? And my salary. <laughs> yeah, me ah, too. Me salary. Too. salary. Yeah, me too. Yeah. My, my free time. Like, yeah, that's, <laughs> a, <laughs> that's another yeah. one. Yeah. <laughs> yes. yeah. In English. Yeah. That's, English. that's a good example. That's a good example. Yeah. Yes. At your job, maybe? You at your job, maybe? My job, uh, or maybe you do it right. No, no. No, I'm right. good. You're I'm good. good right now. You're good yes. right now. Okay. Yes. I'm fine. I'm fine. Yeah, no, my salary, whatever. whatever. Yeah, salary, right? Salary. Yeah, <laughs> <of course>. mm. <laughs> doble, doble or nada, jefe. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, exactly. That's the attitude. That's the attitude. I mean. Uh, yeah, see, Eduardo quedó sin nada. Mm -hmm. and, and that's it okay. yeah that's it let me take you back then to the main station so you don't get bored all right okay thanks. yeah all right are you okay thank you oh. all right so we're go we're just gonna wait like 40 seconds before everybody else gets back all right we're just gonna wait a couple of seconds over there All right, so I'm going to choose one person out of each uh, breaker room when everybody's back. So you can answer the one question, okay? One question. So everybody's coming back right now. I see that. All right, so here we go. Uh, so I'm choosing the first victim so he can help me with this exercise. 
Mr. Sevillano Edwin. So, sir, how often do you get a haircut? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, usually twice a month. Twice a month, yeah. You, you get a haircut very often. Okay, that's good. All right, uh, let me ask a uh, uh, lady uh, uh, out of your team. I'm going to break her rules over here. All right, Miss Evelyn. All right, because I want to get the uh, an opinion from a, a female a <laughs> side. All right, so Miss Evelyn, same question. How often do you get a haircut? Uh, the one? Yeah, number one, correct. Um, I usually uh, get a haircut. Every three months. Every three months. Okay. Okay. Nice. Now, just to simplify your answers, uh, my friends, you can just say it, uh, every every three months, or usually every three months, or twice a month. Uh, you don't have to say it, uh, or or every two weeks. You don't have to say I get a haircut every, or just like that, or a complete sentence. It's not really necessary. But if you want to give a complete answer, it's okay. Go ahead. But no le puede decir que no den completa, oraciones completas o respuestas completas. Pero si usted dice en la vida real, dice uh, every two weeks or, to, or when I get paid, ¿verdad? Cuando me pagan. All right. I mean, it's okay. All right. So it's, it's a valid question, my brother. <laughs> right. I mean, so don't worry about it because it's a language. I mean, you can adapt the language to the situation. Puede usted adaptar el lenguaje a la situación. So question number two. What time do you usually get home? What time do you usually get home? Mr. Cesar. And then Miss uh, Sarai, you're going to help me with that uh, answer over there. So what time do you usually get home? Enfoquémonos solamente en la respuesta, sí, verdad? Or, or you can say yeah, usually or sometimes. It's up to you. Go ahead, please, Mr. Cesar. Okay, I usually eat at home six thirty every day. All right. So okay. So Mr. Sister, let me ask you. So you don't spend uh, a lot of time in the traffic. Or, or, or yes. Come Do you spend time in traffic? No sé, in the traffic jam. Eh, poco. Uh, you can say not that much or or. Yeah, not that match. Not that match. ¿Verdad? Not mm -hmm. that, como de eso, match. No mucho. Or not much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's good. That's good. All right. Miss Arai, the same question to you. Thank you, sir. So what time do you usually get home? Uh, usually uh, get home at 7 or 8 p.m. All right. You, you can say usually or you can say around 8 p.m. or around 7 p.m. Okay. Yeah, you can simplify things over there. One thing uh, uh, that I learned about English is that they make things simple. ¿verdad? El inglés es un poquito más directo y de repente hasta más simple. All right. Uh, and we, we have to learn to do that. O sea, don't complicate yourself. Y no lo digo por usted, Mr. Ray, ni por usted, Mr. Ciso, sino que... Hay que adaptar el idioma, ¿verdad? Al idioma en sí, ¿verdad? No hay que uh, aplicarlo así como que fuera español, right? Do you get a tan when you go to the beach? All right, and this question goes to somebody else over here in the, uh, in another group. All right, hold on, please. Uh, Mr. Francisco and Miss Susana, ladies first. <laughs> No, I don't. Is my answer. All right, that's great. That's great. Do you use a, a let's see, a sun cream or something? Me, uh, I get a slightly tan. Let's just get a slightly tan, mother. Okay, all right. So you use a sand uh, a cream in there to protect your your Sunscreen, skin. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's necessary, right? Uh -huh. It's necessary, correct. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Okay, the next one, number four. Do you get jealous sometimes? All right. And this question goes to Mr. Tony and Miss Elizabeth. Mr. Tony, do you get jealous sometimes?
Yeah, I guess your microphone is off, Mr. Tony. There Sorry, you. teacher. <laughs> That's okay, sir. Perdón, yo le hago la pregunta a Elizabeth. No, no, no. Uh, would oh, you just personal? You, yes, answer it, correct. Just answer. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so sorry, teacher. Sometimes. Yeah, you may say yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> but no, no comments. <laughs> no comments. <laughs> That's okay. I respect that. And, and I respect that, sir. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I will say, right? I think it's, it's normal. All right. Um, and you, Miss Elizabeth, do you get jealous sometimes? Um, teacher, how do you say yellow in Spanish? Eh, celoso or celosa. No much. No much, okay, because you can more get or less. more or less, okay. So you, you can get jealous at uh, somebody at work, you're like a colleague, or you can get jealous because somebody else uh, has a better salary or has a better card, uh, but that's something else, right? But uh, to your wife or your husband or your partner, yeah, I think it would be okay. Sometimes. The yellow teacher, no problem. Yes. Okay. <laughs> more or less, I see. <laughs> you may say just a little bit, you know, sometimes, all right? All right, just a little bit. Thank you. All right. Yes, a little. a little bit. Okay, next one over there. Thank you. Um, Mr. Luis and Miss Sonia Mabel. I'm going to ask you question number five. All right. I'm going to ask you question number five. Okay. If you don't mind. All right. Mr. Five or six. Okay, let's go number five, sir. No sé. Do you mind? O lo saltamos. El número, la número cinco. Saltémosla. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to skip it. We're going to skip it. Okay. Suéltelo, compañero. <laughs> Apuesta. Tachada. En confianza y sin miedo okay. al éxito. Uh -huh. Aquí, ¿verdad? Me salí un poco panda. Okay, do you ever well, get sick? Sometimes I get sick. Okay, and sick. what are you... What, what, sick, right? Six? Or six? 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 I'm just kidding, sir. Lo estoy molestando. Number six. Perdón. All right, number six. Yes, sir. Yeah, and what do you get? The flu or, or, or the, do you have an allergy? No sé, tiene alguna alergia or, or just like the flu? Gripe, digamos. Okay. And, and, and the, what are you, Miss? Miss uh, okay, sometimes. Miss Sonia, do you ever get sick? All right, so thank you, Mr. Armando. So, Miss Miss Sonia, do you ever get sick? I hardly ever sick. You ever get? You hardly ever get sick. All right, that's yeah. good. I mean, that's good. All right, that's good. Thank you. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make this bigger. Uh, all right. So next, I have Miss Carmen and Miss Sulma, right, to help me over here. Are you thinking about getting married? Yeah, you're gonna tell me no, right? Because I'm married already. <laughs> Miss Carmen? No, I'm not thinking about getting divorced. All right, so you're not you're not thinking about getting divorced. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank. You. What about you, Miss Sulma? Are you thinking about uh, about getting, let's say, divorced or getting married? <laughs> Mm, no, com no comments. Carmen. <laughs> Same as Carmen, right? No, no, I am not thinking about get divorced. Getting divorced. Okay, nice. So, and uh, let me just go back over here and ask the people. To, um, I see randomly over here, Mr. Raul Melendez. What is something that you want to get better at? Que es algo que usted quiere mejorar in your life? At your job, your life, your children, your relationship with your children. Okay. Um, my English. Okay. Okay. My weight. Your weight, All right? And your free time. <laughs> Como le dijera, puntería. Your the when you're playing basketball, that's what you mean. Ah. Uh, 
Yeah, you can say your your aim, aim, a i m aim. A i a i m m. Okay. Yeah, your aim, aim. Three point, three points. Three points, right? Yes, three points, correct. <laughs> nice. I'm gonna add the same question over here to somebody in class that I have. Miss Portillo, Miss uh, Susana, what do you want to get better at? I want to get better at English class and final. All right, so the English class. And let me tell you, my friends, that uh, you are getting better. All right, you are getting better. Okay, están mejorando, getting better. Okay? And I'm, I have noticed that I've been with you, most of you, three months already. He estado con ustedes tres meses, de hecho, hasta el día. And I'm not lying to you. Now, let's go back and practice the second set of, of vocabulary. I mean, the questions over there. Now, let, we're going to practice the second part of the questions over there. Okay? So, let me share with you the screen right now. Vamos a practicar la segunda parte de, de los ejercicios a continuación. All right? So, I'm going to send you back to the breaker room. And the questions are, as, as a recap, solamente para recapitular, las preguntas son, okay, para que entendamos lo que nos estamos preguntando. What hobbies do you recommend if you get bored at home? ¿Verdad? ¿Qué recomiendas si está aburrido en la casa? What do you like to drink when you get thirsty? ¿Verdad? Lo que decíamos, ¿verdad? ¿Qué le gusta beber cuando tiene sed? Do you ever get nervous whenever you have to speak in public? ¿Verdad? ¿Le da nervios hablar en público? Do you get dizzy when you are on a plane? ¿Verdad? Se marea, ¿verdad? En, el, en avión o, o en botes. Ha, o en barco, perdón. Have you ever gotten lost? ¿Alguna vez se ha perdido? Would you like to get married? ¿Verdad? Se gustaría casarse o maybe divorce over here, right? Or get engaged, comprometerse. How well do you get along with your brothers? ¿Cómo se lleva con sus hermanos? What time do you usually get up on Sunday? ¿A qué hora se levanta el día domingo? Okay, o los domingos, over there. So, um, let me send you back to the breaker room and I'll be visiting you. It's 9.16. We're going to practice this for five minutes only. All right? Five minutes. Thank you. Go ahead, please. And I will share with you the image to that right now. I have a question, teacher. Yes, sir. Uh, pequeño paréntesis. Yes, sir. Teníamos que o vamos a llenar la encuesta. A las nueve y media, de hecho, nos han programado. Ah, tenía esa duda porque ya ahora en la mañana estuve así de cerquita de que ya le iba a Sí, 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 la hace, digamos, y, y la hace correctamente. Yo con mucho gusto le digo, qué bueno que se adelantó. El problema es que a veces se nos puede ir alguna cosita por ahí y lo van uh -huh. a estar llamando. Entonces, por eso es. Yo tenía duda, pero solo uh -huh. en eso lo dejé, no, no, no quise. <risa> Me arrepentí. Se arrepintió. <risa> That's okay, sir. Yes, that's okay. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome, sir. All right, so do you have any issues accessing to the platform, uh, uh, Ms. Carmen? Okay, no, you enter already. Quizás la teacher ahorita, preguntémosle. Hello, teacher. Hello. We are talking about the survey. Uh, we don't have the, the link. Do you? No, I have it, but we're going to ah, do okay. it at 930. We're going to okay. do it at 930. Yes. Okay. Not right now, please. Well, start. Uh, what hobby do you recommend if you get bored at home? Uh, listen to music, exercise, and read a book. Okay, I recommend. I recommend listen listen to music too, or yes. read a book too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good. That's a good. That's good advice. Listening to music or reading a book. That's the best advice you can give someone. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you like to drink when yeah. you get thirsty? Well, I, I oh, like no. to get a soft drink. 
En mi caso, uh, watch movie. In my case, watch movies. Uh -huh. Yeah, me too. Uh, in my case. <laughs> ¿Cómo se escribe, teacher, eso? Case. Case, uh, case correct. Uh, you got it. Nice. Okay. The second is what do you like to drink when you get thirsty? I drink water <laughs> very healthy right very healthy person very healthy and you miss portillo i like green water last weekend beer. <laughs> i don't know why we don't believe you <laughs> <laughs> because, because okay. she knows she knows uh, drinking beer is healthy i mean with moderation of course right with moderation only one <laughs> only one or two right or three <laughs> or, or, three packs. Four, or, or three no packs. more no more right or no yeah, more no number more. four yeah correct yeah you're right <laughs> okay sir okay um number two what, what do you like to drink when you get thirsty <laughs> but if you're called the genius you just llama el genio <laughs> Ay, por acaba acaba de pasar <laughs> en serio acaba de pasar y le iban moviendo la calle para variar what do you like to drink uh, I like lemonade uh, yeah that's a good idea lemonade right lemonade. I like um, horchata uh, como horchata the morro. Morro, correct, correct. Eh, ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, Anaranja agria, ¿cómo podría decirse? Uh, maybe you can say sour. Refresco de naranja sour, agria. You can say sour. Uh, para los riñones. Yeah, you can say sour uh, orange. Ese o huere, sour. Sour es agrio. Ese o huere, sour. Ese o huere. Ese o huere. Yes, sour, 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 sour orange. 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 Para decir naranja agria, yes. naranjada agria. Yes. Eso es una gran cosa. All right. I okay. didn't know. I didn't know. All right. Mrs. Evelyn. My guess, I for. Es que siempre, yo esa palabra siempre me confundo yes, con la Yes, I do, la tercera. Water is... No yeah, me too. Me too. Me too. Es W. Mm -hmm. A, T, H. Ah, ¿Qué es? ¿Qué es? No, what, are you, what are you talking about? ¿Cuál están deletreando, perdón? Daniela, yo no... <laughs> no agua. Que, agua. Es que yo siempre me confundo con agua y clima. Ah, no, la diferencia oh. es que clima lleva H. Y, y la ah, agua, B, no. B, B. Ah. Ve que le estaba poniendo clima y en vez de agua. It's weather. Where? Ok. Do you get nervous when you ever have to escribir? Do you ever get nervous? You can say yes. always, always, always. Yes. <laughs> ah, la tres. Yes, I do. Yes, I yes, do. I do. Yes. Yo algunas veces. Sometimes. Sometimes. It depends, right? It depends. It depends <laughs> of the event, right? It depends. De de mm. Depende de, de, del evento, la right? It depends, on, it depends on the public. <laughs> Correct. It depends on the public, right? It depends on the public. Correct. Si viene una dueña de la empresa, sí. Ahí sí. O viene el embajador. <laughs> That's That's right. That's ah, right. Depende That's el idioma right. en que me hablen, a eso es. Depending on the language, correct. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Sí. <laughs> no me no, va a paniquear ahí yo. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it happens, Maya. it happens. La cuatro dice, se marea cuando está en un avión o en un barco. Yo, o sea, nunca he usado ninguno de los dos, sería. Una de las dos. <risa> no, no sé responder. A la realidad. Ajá. 
Out of Ponga, I don't know. I have no experience, right? I have no experience. I have no experience, right? I don't know. I, I see where the I have no experience. I have not experience. It's, it's I have, I have no experience. I have no experience. Yes, I have no experience. Yes, I have no experience. Yes, I have no No, no tengo experiencia. I have no, no tengo experiencia. experience. Uh -huh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Ahorita vamos a okay. chatear. Yes. No, Más simple, eso lo vamos a hacer. I have no experience. Vaya, Mr. Caesar, reenvíelo, por favor. En el chat de este. Aquí en, la... en el Zoom. No, o sea, Coppel. No, 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 pero aquí está. Ahí está ya. I have no experience. I have no experience. I have no experience. Ah, cabalas. Y para no dejar a nadie. Yo podría decir, no, I don't. Sí, usted puede decir, I don't have experience. De la misma forma. Eh, no, o sea, no me causa nada. No, ah, okay, okay. no, 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 I don't get dizzy. I don't get dizzy. I don't. Le temo a las alturas. I'm afraid of. Uh, yes, correct. I'm afraid. I'm afraid. Sí. I'm afraid of no, high, yeah. high place. Okay, okay. ¿Alguna vez te has perdido? Ah, I've sí. gotten lost. Yes. 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 Manejando. Por <laughs> seven. How well do you get a get along with your brothers yeah yes i get very well so you, you um, don't have it you don't have any any uh conflicts any in the family fight. any interest. Not sometimes but i and think it's normal it's normal correct yes it's normal yeah when i was a teenager i had uh, several fights with them <laughs> physical fights with them physical, physical fights, physical fights. Yeah. but now it's like you no talk, no 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 talk with them yeah it's come what it's... time do you usually get up on sundays uh at 4 a.m 4 a.m he go running he goes running uh hi uh, go to work he, he goes to work okay so i i am get up so seven? Get up, you get up at seven. seven? Uh, at eleven, right? Eleven. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> no. Seven uh, a.m. Seven. I, I, get, I get up at seven too, if you don't believe me. I get up at seven. Seven. Seven a.m. hora, one hora. Because I always have work to do, always. Have work to do, always. Ah, uh, including the domingo. Yes, I mean. I have to check your stuff and uh, send emails and many mm. things. Uh, yes. Me era hermoso el domingo para trabajo, yes. entonces. <laughs> but it's oh, a little well. bit more relaxing, you know, a little bit more relaxing. Mm. Do you get boring that? Excuse me? Do you get, o sea, no se aburre? Do you get boring? Yeah, I get bored sometimes. That's why uh, we watch movies and uh, I put away the cell phone over there. I don't check my cell phone. Mm. In there, I read books sometimes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. That's okay. Nice. So we're going to close the room right now. All right. Mr. Nelson, how are you, sir? I stand with Kayala, Mr. Nelson. You've been very quiet today. 
Me tuve que levantar un momento. No, that's okay. Lo estoy molestando, no se preocupe. Solo lo quería, solo lo quería saludar, que ahí estamos, al pie del cañón. Este, let's see, everybody's over here already. All right, so welcome back, everyone. We're going to complete the uh, satisfaction survey right now. All right? But uh, don't get uh, ahead on, on, on this. We're going to do it together. And let me switch to Spanish, if you don't mind, over here. Eh, vamos a, eh, si usted, bueno, no es primera vez que hacemos esto, ¿eh? entonces solamente para verificar los, los datos que están acá del curso, que es lo más importante y lo demás usted lo va haciendo. Comparto pantalla, eh, la orden de inicio, si gustan, les comparto. Sorry, eh, teacher. Dígame. Eh, el vínculo de la, de la, okay. de la encuesta. Ah, vamos, a, vamos a compartirles eso para comenzar. Tiene razón. Ahí está. There you go. Now let me know if it's working. Pues uh, yo aquí lo tengo también eh, abierto y creo que sí está funcionando. Ok. Entonces eh, le voy a compartir para que usted solamente seleccione y copie la orden de inicio. Que es la que yo tengo en esta presentación de, de PowerPoint. ¿verdad? Entonces para que no la digite, se la mando a su WhatsApp. Y si usted está ocupando WhatsApp web, le va, le va a funcionar. ¿verdad? Entonces lo que le estoy compartiendo es la orden de inicio. ¿Verdad? ¿Les parece si, si lo hacemos de esa forma? ¿Verdad? Usted si puede copiar y pegar así de una sola vez. ¿Verdad? Yes, teacher. All right. I think it's better. Entonces, quedémonos hasta ahí y usted solo lo copia en la, en la, en la survey. ¿Verdad? Entonces, esperémonos hasta que tengamos ya todo completado y lo revisemos una o dos veces así rápidamente antes de darle enviar. ¿Verdad? No lo enviamos. El nombre del proveedor, ¿verdad? Usted va a mirar ahí que están otros lugares por ahí, ¿verdad? La competencia. <ríe> All right. No pongamos atención. Y aquí está, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el nombre del proveedor? Se lo voy a mandar literalmente. Inglés corporativo, entre paréntesis, Regal International. Pero usted solamente va a seleccionarlo, ¿verdad? Porque ahí le aparecen las opciones. Ok. Esto solamente es para que usted lo tenga ahí de, de referencia. ¿Cómo se llama el nombre del, del curso? El nombre del curso es Inglés Principiante Módulo 3. O Beginner Module 3. All right. Pero como esto es cuestión de ISAFOR y es administrativo, si ustedes saben cuestiones de papeleo, no tengo que darles mayor detalles. When did we start this? ¿Verdad? ¿Cuándo comenzamos? Hace un mes, ¿verdad? 13 de abril. Ok. So, la fecha de inicio fue la, el 13 de abril. Ahí se los estoy compartiendo en el WhatsApp. Y la fecha de cierre, thanks God, gracias a Dios, we made it, ¿verdad? 11 de mayo. O sea, ¿Se acuerdan que en Semana Santa, bueno, antes de Semana Santa, bueno, Semana Santa y luego otra semana después la tuvimos libre, entonces fueron dos semanas libres. Entonces estuvimos fuera dos semanas, pero ahí comenzamos el 13 y este día. We're missing 30 minutes. Ok, de ahí los datos como su nombre y todo lo demás, usted ya sabe cómo lo va a ingresar ahí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, me mantengo en esta pantalla, solamente mientras usted ingresa los datos de, de, del curso y luego voy a ir a la, a la encuesta en sí, ¿verdad? Solamente para irlos guiando para mayor seguridad. No sé, ¿puedo cambiar de pantalla? Ustedes me dicen. ¿Quién el change screens, my friends? Or do you need it over there? Si la necesitan, aquí dejo la pantalla, ¿verdad? Entonces. Usted nos va a avisar, teacher, cuando empezamos? O, o sí. empezar ya? De, de hecho, yo le voy a compartir la pantalla para que, digamos, yo lo voy haciendo simultáneamente. Yo lo único que yo no le doy a enviar, ¿verdad? Pero al final voy a hacer lo mismo, copiar. Uh -huh lo que está aquí en el WhatsApp que ya les acaba de mandar. Eso estoy haciendo ahorita. Hagámoslo. Let's, let's start. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, one problem for me. What's the problem? What's the problem? Yes, el, number, el, el nombre de, de la empresa. Ah, ok. El suyo. Yes. No se preocupe. Yo aquí tengo su registro y se lo voy a mandar así en privado. Please. Yes, sir. 
Y cualquiera, sí. si también tienen el, la misma situación, yo aquí tengo acceso a sus datos, donde viven, mentira. Ahí está. <risa> mentira. Ya decía este... yo que la carta ahora no mañana. <risa> de murido, era de eso. <risa> Vaya, su... El carro sospechoso era el de él. El carro sospechoso, sí. así, ¿verdad? El vehículo ¿no? color negro. <risa> <risa> Virus polarizado. Mr. Tony, what's your last name, sir? Su apellido es Cabrera. Alfonso, ok, yes, yeah, you're the first one. Number one, number one. Oh. Yes, yeah, sir, you're the first one over here. Vaya, lo que yo tengo acá es, ¿lo puedo decir el nombre? Center Financial Corporation, yes, es eso. Yeah, that's the one you should enter over there. Ok, Century Financial Corporation. Oh. Century uh, Financial sí, sí. Corporation SADCB. Igual, es, todo en mayúscula me aparece aquí a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si eso se lo pide. Ok. Bueno, continuamos por acá. Este. El módulo es módulo principiante 3, vea. Eh, sí, ahorita vamos a dejar de compartir esto. De hecho, está en orden la información que le mandé. Está, tenemos, no, no está en orden, perdón. Tenemos el, la, el número de orden, luego la, el lugar donde usted está recibiendo esto, el, la capacitación. Le voy a compartir la pantalla otra vez. Aquí está. Orden de inicio es este número que está acá largo, tal cual es. Espacio y todo, copio y pégalo. El nombre del proveedor. Y, y luego el nombre de recipiente. Sí. Ok. Comenzamos el 13 y cerramos este día, el 11. Vamos a compartir pantalla de, de, de esto otra vez. De la encuesta en sí. Aquí vamos. Nombre completo, así como usted mandó los detalles, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando se registró eh, y el que tenemos nosotros registrado aquí en línea. Correo electrónico es el mismo correo con el que usted se. matriculó. Número de celular es el mismo, ¿verdad? Si usted me dice, no sé cuál puse, yo aquí se lo doy, el que tengo aquí registrado, ¿verdad? Que es el que mandamos a Insafor también. Pero creo que es el mismo que tenemos en el chat. Así que no hay problema. All right. Uh, number six es el mismo departamento de residencia. Municipio de residencia el mismo que incluyó. Empresa donde trabaja, ¿verdad? Así como me preguntó Mr. Tony nombre del proveedor con el que se capacitó no le pongamos cuidado a los demás ¿verdad? y aquí está nombre del curso es inglés principiante módulo 3 teacher Dígame. Dijiste que eh, ingresé la fecha en que inició el curso y me dice que tiene error. Ok, vaya, ahí les iba a recomendar algo también. No lo digitemos eh, nosotros, eh, valga la redundancia, manualmente, sino que seleccionémoslo. Ya. Entonces. Yo corté y pegué, pero. Ajá, vaya, si se fija, vamos a abril y yo selecciono que es el 13. Y ya lo dejo ahí. Ah, yeah, en la mejor yeah. forma y luego este día ya me voy a este día y ya solo eso. Eso es lo mejor que pues, se puede hacer para que no le dé error mi Zulma ah, bueno, bueno, está bien. sí, pero la verdad que nos va a servir la consulta eh, ya, ya me, me estoy fijando que ya empecé a recibir la, las encuestas ¿verdad? entonces cabal eh, si me puede mandar así como la está enviando ¿verdad? perfecto eh, pero si lo puede poner su nombre completo esto es cuestión pura formalidad, ¿verdad? Yo sé que aquí solo tengo una Susana Hernández, pero sí tengo una Susana Portillo, ¿verdad? Entonces, lo, lo, lo digo porque así me lo pidieron a mí, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, si no es mucha molestia. Mr. Raúl, thank you, sir. Miss Flor, thank you. Miss Susana, thank you, brother. All right. Mrs. Oriana, thank you so much. And then we have it right there.
Si no lo ha enviado, pégale una revisadita y ya después, ¿verdad? Le da a enviar. All right, so I appreciate that you're sending this to me right now. All right. All right, so just to confirm the ones that I got. Solo vamos a, a confirmar, ¿verdad? Los que recibí por cuestiones de, de control. I got Mr. Gilberto Mendoza, Ms. Susana Hernández, um, Ms. Flor Maria, Mr. Raul, Ms. Carmen, all right, Mr. Edwin, Ms. Claudia, Ms. Dolores, Ms. Susana, Mr. Cesar, Ms. Catherine, Mr. Alfonso, Ms. Zulma Odor. I'm still missing a couple of ones, but todavía me hace falta un par por ahí. Like uh, Mr. Eduardo, uh, maybe you did it already, I don't know. Ms. Elizabeth, I guess you're doing it right now. Thank you, Mr. Francisco. All right. So, should we continue with the class already? Continuamos con la clase, ¿les parece? Yep, all right. So, let's continue with the class already. Yeah, you're getting better at this, right? You're getting better at this uh, from time to time, all right? So, and uh, here we go. So, uh, questions with get. Set number two, what hobbies do you recommend if you get bored at home? This one is going to be optional, all right? It has to be a voluntary response. Okay, voluntarios, no victims right now. Okay, so just open your microphones and help me with this, please. Okay, the first? Yes. Okay, I recommend um, play Scrabble. Play Scrabble, yes, play, play Scrabble, thank you. All right, uh, anybody else, any other uh, recommendation? If you get read bored at home, read a book, all right? Read a book, read the Bible, right? People say that, okay? Maybe, right? Why not? All right, read a novel. Read a <laughs> okay, Any, anything else? I recommend in watch the movie. Watch a movie, right? Miss Uma, correct. Watch a movie, right? Watch a movie. You're right. I don't know. Picture, uh, watch series in Netflix. Watch, watch some series on Netflix, right? Correct. Yes. But what happens is that when you watch a um, uh, series, yeah. you get addicted. We get addicted, you know, to the series. No, se vuelve adicción. But that's okay. It happens, right? It happens. You get addicted to it, right? You cannot stop. Right? All right. Hold on, please. All right. So what about number two? Why do you like to drink when you're thirsty? All right. I'm all ears, but soy todo oídos. Okay. What do you like to drink when you're thirsty? Dice ríe, verdad? Lemonade. Lemonade, they said over there. Lemonade. They said, yeah. Correct. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> yes, right. the orange. Orange, correct. Orange juice, water, right? Beer, of course. Yeah, only two, right? People beer say, not, I, beer not no, beer right? Not. People say only a couple, but un par, but they say it, uh, a six pack. Uh, okay. People get, uh, you know, get control. I mean, they don't get control with what they drink sometimes. Oh, Yes. <laughs> this is bad, teacher. Yes, sir. It's, it, you know, it's, it's from the devil. <laughs> I'm just kidding over here. Okay. Next one. Did you ever get nervous 
whenever you have to speak in public? That's a good question, by the way. The answer sometimes is yes. Yes, Mr. Raul. In English? Yeah. Yes. yes. In Spanish, no. Not really, right? Yeah, you are used to that, right? You are used to that, right? Correct. And if it's a joke, menos. <laughs> if it's a joke, all right. You're good at telling jokes, sir. Yes. Okay, can you tell us one in Spanish? Oh a, one, a white one, please. Un blanco, all right? Blanco. Yes. O medio gris. Un negro en la nieve es un blanco perfecto. <laughs> okay. Nobody's laughing with another one, sir. Eso muy largo. Okay, okay. So we're going to skip it. Or we're going to skip it. All right. Thank you. <laughs> but so I can see that you're good at speaking in public. Thank you. Do you get dizzy when you are on a plane or a boat? Dizzy is marearse. Do you get dizzy when you are on a plane or a boat? Mr. Caesar, you have an answer for that, sir. You have an answer for that. Usted tiene una respuesta para eso, ¿verdad? That we study with her. Uh, you said no experience. What do you say? Your microphone is off, eh, Mr. Caesar. Number three? It's number four. Number four. Okay. Uh, I have no experience. You have no experience. Okay, you have no experience. All right. Okay, thank you, sir. Have you ever gotten lost? Have you ever gotten lost? Maybe while, while driving. Okay. Yes. Be careful in this country is dangerous. All right. Be careful. It's dangerous to get lost in this country. All right. Yes. Okay. Yes. You need to know your, your, your uh, route. Tiene que saber su ruta, ¿verdad? Or, or use the, a nap, okay, if you have data. Would you like to get married or divorced? <laughs> Mr. Miss Flores saying never, right? Miss <laughs> Flores saying never. Right? Teacher, how do you say condenada? I'm condemned. <laughs> condemned. So, so, someone. Tell us. Oh my God. Yeah. Or you so can say, tell, only, only one. Only <laughs> once, right? Correct. You can say I'm doomed. Con w o d o m d. Doom. So, I'm doomed or I'm condemned. Condenada de por vida, dice. Yeah, forever, right? Right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So. Uh, Richard, I I am uh, forever alone. <laughs> you're forever alone. You say no, not really, not really. <laughs> not really. You just gotta wait. You just gotta wait. I can put it. So how well do you get along with your brothers or sisters or siblings? Que bien o que tan mal se llevan. Good, all right? A perfect relationship. Teacher, I have a question yes. about this, this, okay. this word. Uh, when do you can use siblings or bro um, brother or brothers or, or sister, for example? Mm -hmm. All right. Siblings, what is the difference? Uh -huh. Yeah, siblings says brothers and sisters, both. All right. And then if you don't want to say, uh, so do you get along with your brothers and sisters? You have you, you can say it with your siblings. Right? Okay. If you are only with men and my brothers, or only with women, my sister. No, but but you, if you have the both, you can you I know you can actually say you can actually say siblings because you don't know. For example, if I ask you, Miss Carmen, uh, do you have siblings? I can ask you, okay, do you have brothers and sisters? Or if you tell me, I only have brothers, so it's, you can use it with either one. Okay, okay. Yes. thank you. Yes, yes. So I can ask you, so how well did you get along with your siblings? Meaning that your brothers and sisters or only your brothers, or if you only have sisters, only with your sisters, so, yeah. But this is an all-inclusive uh, term, you know, sibling is un termino inclusivo, siblings, all right? So you say, well, what time do you usually get up on Sundays? All right? Si se levanta, algunos por ahí. In my all case, right. uh, around 7, 7.30 a.m. Around, yeah, that's a good time. Your biological clock doesn't uh, let you sleep more, right? And the church. 
And, and, ah, yeah, correct. The, the brothers and sisters over there, right? Ahí sí aplica hermanos y hermanas porque son de religión, ¿verdad? No va a decir siblings, right? Because it's, it's about church, right? You know, that's something different over there. If it's blood related, decimos siblings. Si está relacionado con hermanos de sangre, right? Siblings. But if it's from a church, right? Religion related, you say brothers and sisters, you know, due to the brothers and sisters over there. Okay. If there are no questions about this, we're going to continue with the rest of the class with something interesting, I guess, that I have ready for you. I have a listening prepared for you. All right. I have a listening prepared for you, my friends. And, and I want to share it with you uh, right now. Okay. I want to share it with you right now. But before I share the listening with you, we're going to do this vocabulary together. So let's try to do this vocabulary. It's going to help us be ready for the next, uh, let's see, listening over there. All right, just one second over there. All right, para cerrar con broche de oro, right? Just to close this the class in the 10 minutes, almost. Let's try to do this vocabulary over there. So read about, about Andy's, Andy's week, match the sentences that have a similar meaning. Okay, and the first one is given uh, for you already. So in your notebooks, do a list from one to six and do two columns, A and B. And all you have to do is to match the number with the letter, all right? It's the same meaning or the similar meaning. Aquí estamos aprendiendo a decir la, la misma cosa de una forma distinta, okay, o parecida. That's what we're doing right now. And I guess it's gonna help. Once we finish this, we're going to move to practice this uh, listening, ¿verdad? Solamente cambié de pantalla para darles la, una muestra. Ya se sample over there. So, number one, he was broke last week. And the answer is F, he spent all his money. Broke is estar en bancarrota. Si usted le agrega una N acá, significa estar quebrado, ¿verdad? Pero physically broken, ¿verdad? Entonces, because you broke your arm, your leg. Pero acá es estar ban en bancarrota, bankrupt. All right, broke, broke. He was broke last week. Okay, who can help me with number two? He didn't work on Friday. We have, he had people over, he had a good time. He didn't do the laundry. He took a day off. He did housework. Oh, he took a day off. He took a day off, correct. And, 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 yes, correct. It's letter, letter D over there. I agree with you. All right, so it's letter D over there. Hold on. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna take uh, an image over there. Let me just one second. Right. Somebody's watching the news over there, right? About football, I can see that, but that's okay. Um, I'm gonna help you do this right now, my friends. Try to do it individual because that's the best thing that you can do. You know, to complete this individually, right? The tema de hacer de forma individual, but you already gave me the answer over there. So number two is. Letter, letter D, right? Remember, in present, you say, take a day off. ¿verdad? Tomarse un día libre. All right? Take a day off in present. Number three, he worked around the house. Letter E, he did housework. He did housework. Right? Mm -hmm. Hacer oficio, right? Mm -hmm. Usted dice, he worked around the house. Pero no es que trabajó alrededor de la casa, ¿verdad? Afuera de la casa. No, 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 no. Es do the housework in present is do the housework I said el oficio now you know how to say it ahora ya sabe como decirlo right he worked around the house that one he didn't wash the clothes all right he didn't wash the clothes he had people over he had a good time he didn't do the laundry he didn't do the laundry he didn't he didn't do the laundry yes do the laundry means wash your clothes all right wash your clothes over there do the laundry okay and let's see five he invited friends for dinner he invited friends for dinner letter b uh, no not really close you you got close close enough Cerquita. he had people over had people over correct he had people over that's right all right you can say okay uh, this coming saturday i'm going to have people over which means I'm going to invite friends for dinner or for lunch, right? 
Okay. You see, my message to you, everyone, is sometimes there is a more simplified way to say the same thing. Hay una forma más simple en inglés de decir la misma frase. Okay. O transmitir la misma idea. That's what I'm saying to you right now. And that's the takeaway. Esa es la lección de esta noche. All right. That's the lesson. And the last one, he had a lot of fun. Yes. Go ahead. How do you say fun? In Number Spanish, three. you mean. In Spanish, you mean. Sí, in Spanish. Yes, it means Spanish. diversión. Diversión. Fun is diver diversión. Yes, and with an A, y con una A es ventilador. Y también con una A es uh, fanático. All right? <laughs> crazy, uh, right? English okay. is crazy. All right, English is crazy, you say. All right? He had a lot of fun, all right? Which means... Letter, the last one, right? B. Yes, correct. This letter B. Right. Aquí ya me fallo esto. He had a good time. All right. So, did you have a good time tonight, my friends, or have you had a good time through this module? Han tenido un buen tiempo en este módulo. If you say yes, sometimes, at least that's something good for me. All right. Okay. Yeah, or, 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 did you have fun? All right. Se divirtió. All right. Yes. That's something else over there. Sometimes. Sometimes. Correct. Yes. It's, it, it's sometimes over there. All right. Um, let me just one second over there. Bear with me just one moment. All right. Because I got the system, got it stuck a little bit over there. Can you believe that my screen got frozen over here, my friends? <laughs> in the last the last five minutes the the system doesn't want to uh cooperate with me doesn't want to help me let me just want to see if i can fix it just one second over here <clears throat> yeah, no, I fixed the issue over here. Me había afligido que se había puesto congelada la pantalla. But I know some tricks, all right? I know some tricks over here. So, Teacher, uh, la clase de ahora la mandará en PDF. Yeah, I can share it with you on a PDF. Yeah, that's a good, that's a good idea. Thank you. So now let's do the last activity of this module. All right. It's been a pleasure always. In two more minutes, this class is over, but we're going to do something else. But hasta el último minuto y segundo lo vamos a explotar. Mentira. <laughs> All right. Because you're here to practice English, right? You're here not to hear me speak Spanish. And that's the best idea, right? And that's the best thing. So listen up, please. We're going to practice a listening activity in, the, in a couple of seconds. All right. Hold on, please. Estamos haciendo un breve repaso, ¿verdad? De lo que hemos estudiado para que usted mire, ¿verdad? Todo el material que nosotros hemos consumido en esta clase. Es para lucirnos, pero si se fija el montón de material que usted ha, ha podido ver, ¿verdad? Entonces, all right, enough, right? Ya demasiado marketing. <laughs> all right. I'm screen lost, by the way, so that's what I didn't share it with you. Hold on. Eh, all right, sorry about it. Oh, I see. All right, so we have the name of the dirt, uh, and what you have to do is basically listen and check didn't go anywhere over there. And you have the phrases over there. So listen to Andy, Gally, Patrick, and Fran. What did they do last summer? Check the correct answers. Uh, we're going to start with Andy. Imagine that over here you have a letter A, letter B, and letter C. All right? Letter A is going to be stay home. Letter B visited his brother. Letter C went to the, the beach over there. En lugar de escribir la frase, si usted no, 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 no puede o... Oh, 
no quiere, escriba como una letra acá, ¿verdad? This is letter A, this is B, and this is letter C. All right? Let's listen to Andy right now, and I'm going to pause the audio over there. ¿Ok? Vamos a ponerle pausa cada vez que hable, den información acerca de una persona. ¿Ok? So that's what I'm going to do. I will stop it every single time over there. It's almost time for us to say goodbye. All right? If there is someone that would like to start for the for the a one on one, you are more than welcome because I have that spot free, verdad? But you have to let me know in a second. So I'm gonna play this with you in a moment right now. Hold on, please. Screen got lost. I don't know why. Okay. Page ninety six, exercise nine, listening. I didn't go anywhere. Are you listening right now? Yes. Listen to Andy, okay, Gail, you. Patrick, and Fran. Hold on. Page 96, One more exercise time. 9, listening. I didn't go anywhere. Listen to Andy, Gail, Patrick, and Fran. What did they do last summer? Check the correct answers. One. Hello, Andy. Did you have a good summer? Oh, I had an okay summer, I guess. I visited my brother in Vancouver. That's nice. Did you go to the beach? No, I didn't. It rained all summer, so we usually did things indoors. Two. Hold on. I say I was going to pause it, right? So I paused that one. So what would be the answer over here? So the, did he did he go to the beach or did he stay home or did he visit his brother Andy? Visit his brother. He, he visited his brother. brother. He, he visited his brother. Remember the pronunciation yes. of idiot, right? Visited, right? Stayed, went visited. to the beach. Visited his brother. Okay. Visited. Number two, Gail. Did he see movies? Estoy haciendo la pregunta, verdad? Did he see movies? Did he read books or did he watch TV? So some movies A, read books B, read book, read. Remember the past is red, like the color, you know, read books, watch TV. Read okay. books. Okay, one more time. Here we go. Hi, Gail. How are you? Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. Thanks. I just relaxed. Did you see any good movies? Movies? Well, no, but I read a lot of good books. Okay. Three. That was good. So, what did she do? Option B. Yeah, she read, read books. She read, read books. Book. Correct. B. She read books. Correct. All right, number three. Patrick went bike riding, went swimming, or played tennis. So, did he go bike played riding? Tennis. Did he go swimming or did he play tennis? We'll see. All right. Here we go. Number three. So, Patrick, did you do anything interesting last summer? Oh, yeah. You know how I love sports. I played tennis and rode my bike every day. Tennis and bike riding? You're a really good athlete. Yeah, well, I try. All right, so this guy, this guy uh, uh, made something different. <laughs> my bad, right? He played tennis. Yeah, he played tennis, tennis. and... Went Reading. Went, by, went bike riding, right? Went bike riding, correct. Thank riding. You. Riding, yes. Este monta caballo va a decir horseback riding. Horseback riding. All right. Bicicleta, uh, when bike riding. Oh, they say, I, I, I will go, boy, I'm going to go bike riding. Okay. Patrick, I'm sorry, Frank worked in the yard. Got a job or painted the house or painted the house. Worked in the yard. Got a job or painted the house. Here we go. Four. Did you have a job last summer, Fran? Well, no, but I did a lot of work. What do you mean? Did you get a job? No, but my parents and I painted our house and I worked in the yard a lot. Okay. Now she said it clearly, right? Painting the house. 
Yes. Yeah. Correct. A and C. Correct. She painted the house and worked Work in, in the yard. yard. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So with this, I got to say goodbye, everyone. Nice to meet you, some of you. And the, the other ones were close friends already. <laughs> All right. Mm -hmm. Or acquaintances, at least. If there's somebody that would like to stay in the breaker room, you're more than welcome. Si alguien tiene tiempo para el breaker room, you can tell me right now. I'm sorry, uh, to the 101, but the 101, sorry. 101. Bye, everyone. Goodbye. 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 Goodb